Tonight, the Texas Department of Transportation says it's taking action following multiple deadly crashes at a dangerous intersection at the Texas-New Mexico state line. CBS 4 at 10's Jennifer Cuevas is live in Northeast El Paso to let you know about an upcoming project aimed at making the intersection safer. That's right. Well, I'm here next to US 54 and the state line and this intersection that you see behind me has become somewhat notorious for crashes. Now, right now it is very dark out and so you're not able to see and there's really not much traffic either at this time. But earlier in the day, this area was super congested and it gets very difficult due to the lack of signage as well as the lack of lights. Now, that is why the Texas Department of Transportation says they are now looking to address this fatal intersection, but one person I spoke to believes it's only a temporary fix. Need major stoplights along that four way and further up to slow the traffic before it comes to that area there because we've had at least seven fatalities within a couple months here. Here's a look at the intersection at US 54 and the state line between Texas and New Mexico. This is a highly trafficked area that TxDOT is looking to make improvements to due to multiple fatal accidents reported. The most recent fatal crash happened on May 5th between a military bus and a car, which left two people dead and many others injured. TxDOT now proposing this improvement called the Restricted Crossing Turn Intersection. You can see these renderings push down traffic on both sides of the highway to avoid cars driving through the middle as they do now. Sean Call, a resident of Chaparral, shared why he does not think this project will work. Our problem is that we got four lanes of traffic we're trying to go against. And I saw the new, uh, where they're trying to design the new turnabout on it. I guess I would call it that. But that still has to come across both lanes like that. It's just basically like putting a Band-Aid on it. Now, due to this intersection being split between Texas and New Mexico, Texas is working on the roads, and we are working to confirm a safety lighting project that may bring up to 28 light poles to this area with the New Mexico Department of Transportation. We'll keep you updated on those details. I'm reporting live at the New Mexico-Texas state line. Jennifer Cuevas, CBS4 at 10.